Alright, last chess tactics video in the series. Let's get into it. Alright, um... So I don't see any... Oh, is that a fork on C2 by the knight? Like, it's like, like just based on their all the geometry, that seems like the most obvious move. Because our rook is under attack on e6 if we go like c2 rook a2 knight takes bishop king takes rook if we can save the rook that'd be better right because if you move our rook is currently protected by the knight if we move the knight it's gonna we're gonna drop it so if I can move the rook to a safe square with tempo, it'll be good. But I don't think I can. <laughs> like, um, rook c6 is the only other safe square and so, uh, that's a threat, it's a threat on the knight c4 which um, would have moves to go and you still wouldn't be able to move your rook and move your knight because it's be protecting the rook like, <clears throat> like I'm thinking like rook c6 knight takes e5 rook e6 knight to g4 and then you can do the fork so I guess it's worth it for chasing the knight around a little bit just to move the rook out of the way might be worth it or you've got a mate threat okay so I was way off on that one Next off, pretty minimal. I mean, we've got, it looks like there should be a mate in here somewhere, like queen e5, because I noticed that, um, right now the c8 and d7 are under attack. So we need to get like d8 and c7. The only safe square for that is a5. That'll push the king onto e8. In which case there'll be a because we have a back rank set up. Or we don't need to do any of that. Alright, not batting well today. As if I didn't record this right after the last two, but Anyways, I think I just gotta slow down. I'm getting impatient because this is the last session. We have a check on Queen E6. There's lots of places the king can go, but. Like, if they go H7. Hmm. If we don't go h7, I was thinking, looking at the of like along queen takes rook, queen takes queen, and then rook delivering a threat, but that's not going to work, I don't think. I don't, I don't really see a whole lot of other forcing moves though, like 
we have bishop a5 threatening if queen takes bishop queen e8 is going to be pretty strong but don't do like bishop a5 they just have like queen c8 or even like bishop b6 and you can't threaten the queen from the other diagonal because of the f6 pawn Queen e6 really just looks like the best. Mm-hmm, <laughs> looks like the best choice here, but I don't. I could always just go for it and see how they respond. This could be the episode where I lose five games in a row. That would be a pretty good ending to the trilogy here. Um, Oh, or if you go queen c4, it's a check, and then you can pick up the bishop. That's probably it, right? Or you can't pick up the bishop immediately. Okay. Didn't think this far ahead. So we can't. Both the bishop and rook are protected now. If we go, like, uh, rook e8... We can either pick up the queen or they'll have to drop the rook. So that's going to be the right answer, I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. And they drop. This comes with a check. And oh, we get both. My instincts are telling me there should be a way to like not lose as much from black side, but the computer probably knows better than me, so... I don't know. Game number four. Um, we have the idea of like, right after that, first sight, queen b8 is a check. The only response is g7. And in that situation, What, you know, there looks like sh there should be a follow-up to get a mate, but... Go that, and the obviously losing queen g3 are the only... And I guess rook g3, which loses for the same reason, are the only forcing moves. I am kind of tired, I do kind of just want this to be over, so I'm just going to go with the what appears to be the only forcing move, and we'll see if I'm right. Nope. So we're distracting the rook, I guess. Okay. Yeah, not going great in this episode, but hey. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it's because it's the last one. If my throat just made a weird noise, sorry about that. Because I'm probably not going to do a whole lot of editing for this video. Um, that knight on e5 is under attack in a lot of ways. We have a move looking like rook h7, which is almost a mate. But the thing is, if you threaten that kind of mate directly with a move like queen h4, they always just have h6. Cutting you off. If we trade um, knights, they'd probably take back with their pawn, which would push my queen. Although I could move it with... Um, move it to h4 to threaten to force them to do that h6 to gain a tempo but 
I don't see where it goes from that. But I don't see, once again, any other options. Is this the last game? I don't know, I'm kind of checked out. I That really looks like the best option to me, so... Once again, my instinct is wrong. Okay, I saw that. What's the follow-up, though? Because... Yeah... Oh, okay, I didn't see that night move. That was the key. I guess I just should have followed what the... what squares around the king could be under attack a bit more closely, but... Alright, this episode was bad. Thanks. Yep. For watching.